Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about uh, day 13 of daily RBI series. We have already discussed a lot of quizzes, a lot of questions from government schemes. We have discussed some topics also related to controlling and organization theory from management. And today uh, we'll be talking about some more questions, some more schemes which are important for the upcoming phase 1 as well as phase 2 RBI and SEBI examination. If you have not seen the previous videos, you should go and watch those videos and also take those tests online which are available on my website at www.anujindal.in. If you have liked these videos, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also do not forget to press the bell icon because that way you will never uh, miss out on the videos that I am creating for the upcoming examinations. So let us start with the quiz. First of all, I will be telling you how to attempt these quizzes on your own. And uh, secondly, I will also be attempting these quizzes right now and we will be talking about some important schemes for the upcoming examinations. So you can go to the quizzes by clicking on the quizzes section and by going on to RBI. When you click on RBI, there are these are the different kinds of quizzes that you can take depending on, upon the examination that you are preparing for. When you click on RBI, then you can go to the quizzes that have been provided here and also the videos related to these quizzes. So, we have already covered quizzes till day 10 and today we will be talking about quiz for day 13. Day 11 and day 12 has also been covered in the form of organization theory. So, let us talk about day 13 government schemes. Uh, there are a total of 5 questions. Let us start with the first question for today. Let us start with the first question. The question says what is the main objective of the scheme? PM ASHA approved in 2019 by the Government of India. The question is asking about PM ASHA which has been launched in the year 2019 itself. It is a very recent scheme and therefore a very important one. The options are A to promote young entrepreneurs in cooperatives, B to provide food, shelter and security to neglected senior citizens of India, C to ensure remunerative prices to the farmers for their produce. D to protect women empowerment, promote women empowerment by providing skill training and E to provide primary health services to vulnerable families. First of all, you have to provide me the full form of ASHA in the comment section below. Uh, this kind of uh, commenting or answering in the comment section below is going to help you a lot. It will help you in remembering and recalling things at the right point of time. Okay? So do provide me the full form of ASHA in the comment section below. The correct answer for this and that can be found out directly through the objective of PM ASHA. PM ASHA relates to farming or agriculture industry in India. So the answer has to be to ensure remunerative prices to the farmers for their produce. Now some other impo important uh, information about PM ASHA. First of all the full form of ASHA. I hope you have already provided it. You have already written it down in the comment section below. ASHA stands for Annadatta Aya Sanrakshan Abhyan. Annadatta Aya Sandrashan Abhyan. It was approved in the year 2018 and launched in 2019 and it comes uh, very obviously under Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. It is an umbrella scheme aimed at ensuring remunerative prices to the farmers for their producers. You must be thinking MSP is already provided for uh, providing good uh, prices to the farmers for the produce. Well, PM Asha is a holistic scheme which works on areas which are normally not covered or missed out in MSP. It is related with pulses specifically oil seeds and copra. Okay, these three uh, crops are covered under this. There are three components of PM ASHA which can also be asked in the examination. Very high chances that these components can be asked indirectly or directly. Number one price support scheme, number two price deficiency payment scheme and number three triple PS which is private procurement and stockist scheme. Okay? Uh, so, these three components are very important. Please do not forget about them. Remember them. Let us talk about the second question. The second question is also related to PM ASHA. The question says price support scheme is a component of the umbrella scheme PM ASHA launched to protect farmers income. Under PSS physical procurement is done by which nodal agency? Okay, I am not going to provide you the answer here of NAFE. I am going to provide you the answer of the question. But what is the full form of NAFE? You have to provide me the full form in the comment section below and we will be discussing it 
probably in the next video or in the comment section itself. The answer to this question is B, Nafed and FCI, Food Corporation, not, it is not cooperation, it is Corporation of India. So, FCI and Nafed are the agencies which are uh, responsible for physical procurement of price support scheme, the crops under price support scheme. We have already read about uh, uh, PM Asha, therefore, there is nothing to discuss, I think. The third question is, is related to Sabka Saath Sabka Gaon Sabka Vikas which is uh, another Joomla created by the government. It says Gram Swaraj Abhyan, a campaign launched under the line of Sabka Saath, Sabka Gaon, Sabka Vikas has the following characteristics except. So, which of the characteristics is not or does not relate to uh, Gram Swaraj Abhyan, which has a line tagline of Sabka Saath, Sabka Gaon, Sabka Vikas. Implemented under Ministry of Rural Development and Ministry of Panchayati Raj, the initiative aims for 100 percent coverage of all districts in the country by 2024. It was being organized first time during April, May 2018 and then again during June, August 2018 and its main objective was to spread awareness about pro-poor initiatives of the government, spread awareness about pro-poor initiatives of the government. The answer to this question is B. The initiative does not at all talk about coverage of districts in the country and uh, coverage of districts in the uh, in the country in the country by which year so that is not at all covered in fact it talks about 100 percent coverage of seven schemes which have not been named on the website yet seven schemes launched by the central government related to development of villages only what is the main objective of this campaign gram swaraj abhyan the main objective is to promote promote social number one social harmony and spread awareness about pro-poor initiatives of the government which basically means improving the economics of uh, these villages uh, and therefore ensure that both economic and social development of these village, villages take place uh, in a time bound manner. Let us come to question 4 for today. The question says consider the following statements regarding Ruva, Yuva Sahakar Cooperative Enterprise Support and Innovation Scheme launch to promote young entrepreneurs in cooperatives and select the appropriate options. So, four options are given and we have to find out which one of them is appropriate or incorrect. The scheme was inaugurated by NCDC. NCDC is a statutory corporation of Ministry of Panchayati Raj. This scheme will be linked to NCDC's cooperative startup and innovation fund that has an initial or annual corpus of 200 crore. All types of cooperatives in operation for at least one year and having a positive net worth are eligible and the project cost which are to be financed under the scheme should not be more than 3 crore. So, these are all the options we have to find out the correct or incorrect ones. The fifth one is correct, yes project cost cannot exceed 3 crore. The fourth one is correct, all type of cooperatives which have been in operation for the last one year and have positive net worth are eligible. The annual corpus is not 200 crore, it is 100 crore. So, 0.3 is incorrect and uh, NCDC is a statutory corporation of Ministry of Panchayati Raj. This is also incorrect. NCDC is not a statutory corporation of Ministry of Panchayati Raj. And the first one is also correct. It was inaugurated by NCDC. So, 2 and 3 are wrong. All others are correct. Statutory NCDC is a statutory corporation of Ministry of agriculture and not ministry of panchayati raj ok. Uh, these are the things uh, through this particular question I believe I have covered almost entirely the scheme Yuva Sahakar cooperative enterprise support and innovation scheme a very important scheme because this has been launched recently only. Let us come to the next question loan up to 80 percent is to be given to cooperatives under category A. So, there are two categories under this particular enterprise support and innovation scheme and it is important that you remember uh, which entities come under category A and which entities come under category B. It is very simple. Everything and anything that does not come under category A comes under category B. And category A, it has been asked which of the following areas is not covered under category A. Northeastern region, aspirational districts, cooperatives with 100 percent women, cooperatives with 100 percent SCST, PWD and Jammu and Kashmir. The correct answer is Jammu and Kashmir which is uh, not covered under category A. So, category A includes northeastern region as is mentioned here, aspirational districts, cooperatives with 100 percent 
women sc st pwd and category b would include uh, whatever does not come under category a so j and k would be a part of category b okay so these are the questions for today and these are the answers i hope you like this uh, particular session uh, you can also take these quizzes by going online on www.anujindal.in and uh, as i showed there is a icon at, at the top which shows or which says daily quizzes or uh, uh, quizzes that you can take and through this you can click on rbi and you can take these quizzes on government schemes i shall be uh, introducing a lot of more quizzes related with or without government schemes related with other other areas whether it's current affairs whether it's finance whether it's management for the upcoming rbi examination and i am very hopeful that they are going to be very useful for you guys okay again if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon to ensure that you not you do not miss out on the future videos that i create and you get a notification instantly all the very best take care